Today, I'm going to show you how to program the Quan Chang UV K5 handheld radio using Chirp. There is a little bit of a workaround when it comes to programming this radio using Chirp. You can't program this radio directly because here, the Quan Chang UV K5 is not yet supported. I think there's a couple of tickets in to try and get it supported. Luckily, I found an application which allows you to easily do it. So I was doing a little bit of research and I came across this tweet by Herb, G1LRO, and he has a utility which converts from the Chirp format of the Quan Sheng's radio uh, to the CPS uh, format, which is used to program the radio from the manufacturer. So um, I ended up downloading this and it works quite well. The application is uh, Chirp2CXF and there is a link in the description below to this. Here it is on Source, SourceForge. Um, G1 LRO, again, uh, Herb has come up with this application for Windows. I'm running it on Windows today. And you'll also need to go to the Quan Chang website and download the programming software as well because we need to convert from the Chirp format into the programming CPS software for the Quan Chang and then we can program it using uh, our Chirp files. All right, so I've got Chirp now loaded up and I've got a couple of frequencies here programmed in and I just want to make um, a point about a couple of these. I've got some normal amateur frequencies here on two meters and I've also got here a six meter repeater as well because this radio will receive down to 50 megahertz. I've got an AM frequency for the uh, tower and then I've also got some 800 megahertz, one gigahertz, 1296 megahertz and 29 megahertz frequencies. These are a result of the firmware that you can load into this radio that I did a video on the other day. If you want to view it, then there will be a card above or there is a link again below to be able to get this radio to receive a little bit wider than what it does normally. What we need to do is once we've entered our frequencies in and you've um, put all of the necessary details, make sure you put the correct tones and the duplex offsets and everything else, then go ahead and go to file and export to CSV. Now the next step that you will need to do, and this is uh, essential, you need to get the radio, turn the radio on so that it's ready to go. Plug in the programming cable into the radio. And then once you've done that and you get the blue light at the top of the radio, open up the uh, CPS, the Quan Chang software. So this is um, on their website. And connect to the radio, go settings, comm settings, select your correct comm port and connect. And we can read. Okay. Now, once you've read the parameters in the radio, you'll see that there is some, I've already got some frequencies um, put in here, you'll want to go and save those. So file save as, and we'll call it just Quan Chang backup hit save. All right, now we'll go and open up Herb's uh, program here. So chirp um, to CXF, and we want to select the chirp file. So this is the CSV file that we created. So I called it test frequencies. We'll open that up. Then we need to select the CPS file that was just generated, which we called Quan Chang backup and we click create new CPS file. So we hit that and there we go. We've converted all of the frequencies or the memory channels rather. And you can see here the output has been written to this file right here, process Quan Chang backup. So now if we go back up to file, open in the Quan Chang programming software and open that file up, there we go. We've got our frequencies input here now into the software. If we go right out, so this will now program the radio and we'll see what frequencies actually get programmed correctly. You can see now that I have all of the memory channels. There's the three with the main name. Now these ones here, they all have a, a channel name which they just get automatically assigned. So they get channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever if you don't actually put in a name. Let's just go and see if it's actually worked just to make sure here. Um, so let's go to this repeater that I've got here, which is a two meter repeater. VK7 hotel, hotel testing. So that worked. Another thing that I have noticed is if we go back to chirp, you'll notice here that you can actually set a flag here for the mode. And in this case for the airband frequency on 118, I've set it to AM. However, when you go back into the uh, CPS software, um, if we have a look at that, you'll see that there is a flag called AM channel flag, which is currently set to off. So it actually doesn't transfer the mode over properly. So you have to go in and you have to turn that on and then reprogram the radio 
um, or make sure that you check all of your AM frequencies are turned on at the time that you need them to. So one thing is I'm not entirely sure that my out of band frequencies have programmed in. So I guess one way to confirm that is let's just plug the radio back in again and we'll try and do a read of the radio and see what frequencies come back because I suspect that for some reason they have not programmed in correctly and yeah, you can see that they've all been wiped back to um, the standard frequencies. So it looks like as long as they are in the, as long as they are in band in the portable radio software, then they're fine. Um, but uh, anything that's out of that band 50 to 600 megahertz, it hits the hard limit and uh, you can't really um, program them in. So you have to program them manually in the radio. If you want to see any of my other videos on the Quanchang UVK5, then there will be a little playlist coming here where I have a heap of videos on this uh, awesome little handheld radio. So check that out.